on Joe Burrow's Twitter page, if you look at which tweets he liked, he liked this tweet from Bleacher Report Gridiron running through some of the Dolphins' moves from this offseason. So Shefty sort of scolded us this morning for paying too much attention to that stuff. But listen, it is what it is. Here's Jeff <laughs> Darlington, our NFL insider. You live in Miami. You covered that team. I'm you know here for it. It, it, it is what it is, right? He's, he's, he's 21 years old, and he's liking posts on social media. Let's talk about the Dolphins' piece of this. There are stories that suggest that they like Burrow. They'd have to go up to number one to get him. They've been looking at Tua Tagovailoa for a very long time. What do we know about the way the Dolphins, who currently sit at number five in the draft, are approaching the quarterback situation? Well, to be very clear, Greeny, I can tell you that the Dolphins love Joe Burrow. They really do. But that's like saying I love Maseratis. It's, it's still a matter of what I'm willing to pay for something, what I can afford to pay for something, knowing that there's a lot of other things I should be buying instead. The Dolphins have to answer that question. They have three first-round picks. Are they willing to give all of that up to go and get Burrow? And then in that vein, are the Bengals willing to take three first-round picks for Burrow? So certainly, it's something that we can continue to keep keep an eye on and and yeah I'm sure Joe Burrow would love the opportunity to play for a building team in South Florida that too uh, makes a lot of sense but again it still comes back to to, to get a deal you got to have two sides and to that point it does at least feel like the Dolphins in some capacity to get to or Burrow will have to make a move especially with the Chargers at six sitting right behind them probably looking potentially at that spot with the Lions at number three to have to move in there for Tua and then Greeny if you're going to give up a lot to get to number three to get Tua, maybe you just uh, see if you can get all the way up to number one and get the guy that you truly want. So the Dolphins definitely have a lot to weigh on their minds these coming months. No doubt. Uh, Jeff Darlington, thank you very much. One quick comment here from Orlovsky and Spears. And, and Dan, you've been looking at Joe Burrow and you love it. If they offered you three first round picks for the right to draft Joe Burrow, if you're Cincinnati, would you take it? No, Greeny. Let me make myself very clear. No. The most important person in an organization is the head coach until you find the quarterback. I don't care what Miami offers me. I'm not giving up the chance to draft Joe Burrow number one. Three first round picks we saw with Cleveland recently and Minnesota recently. I don't see them winning the Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes was traded up for and he changed the Chiefs organization. I'm not giving up Joe Burrow if I'm the Cincinnati Bengals. Swagoo, what do you think? How about Tua? They're not going to be able to sit still at number five and get him either. So what do you think the Dolphins need to do here? trade those two or three first round picks and go up and get Joe Burrow. Listen, three first round picks would be very enticing to the Cincinnati Bengals who have more holes to fill. Obviously, Joe Burrow has been their guy, the catalyst, and everybody knows he's going number one. But Dan, if somebody got on the phone and said we will give you three first round picks to come up and get your number one with other quarterbacks in this draft, I think I'd do it. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.